Hello, Andrea. Good evening. Hi, Jose. Good evening, sir. How are you? Good evening. How are you today, Jose? It's Friday. Yes, it's Friday. Yeah. I'm good, teacher. I'm cold because here it's raining. Oh my goodness. Yes. It's, uh, it's raining or it's pouring? No, only it's raining. It's just raining, a little bit. Yes, raining. It's not yes. too heavy. Oh, okay. And how was work, uh, Jose? It's a good teacher. It was a nice day again. Okay, very good. And uh, any activity that is going on, on in your, at your workplace? No, 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 any. No. Nothing being scheduled. No parties, no, no celebrations, no nothing. And today, uh, my family and I, uh, íbamos. We're, we're going. Uh, íbamos okay. a celebrar el cumpleaños de mi mami. Uh -huh. Pero... What happened? Pasaron unas cuestiones ahí y al final no se pudo. Igual no pudimos ir. Oh, ok. Sí. Ay, okay. Así que lo dejamos para el, para el Monday. Week. Oh, Monday. Yes. Monday. Oh, ok, so you're not working on Monday. Yes, but it's a, a the evening. A the like evening. Six o'clock. Yes. Oh, ok, so after six. Oh, ok. Yes. Wait, wait yes. a minute, wait a minute. After six, yeah, okay, yes. Class starts at eight, right? So you will have time. Correct, yeah. Okay, 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 very good, excellent. And uh, hi, uh, Michelle Oviedo, how are you today? Hi, teacher, fine. All right, Thank how was you. work? Estoy uh, incapacitada. Oh, my goodness, is that good or is bad? It's bad. Why? Uh, I have uh, COVID-90. No, I have COVID. <laughs> you had COVID? Okay. So, yes. hey, I had COVID. Yes, I have COVID. <laughs> no? Uh, no, uh, starting quarantine is difficult. <laughs> 13, 13 days. Yes. Yes, I've been there. I've done that. I'm sorry? I've been there. I've done that. I've been there and done that. And I don't know. I, I don't understand. I've been there. He estado allí. Y he oh. hecho eso también. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yeah. So it's not, but, it's, it's not a joke. No. <laughs> but I'm fine. Okay. Very good. Are you taking any medicine? The big yes. caps, big caps. No, tamaño normal, no, no, no sé cómo se dice tamaño. Okay, regular caps. Uh -huh. Yes. Okay, regular size. Okay, very good, excellent. Yeah, so, yeah. Y, y no sé, ¿qué piensan los demás? ¿Tienen que ponerse mascarilla porque está en la clase o no? <laughs> Por precaución, tal vez. Sí, eh, y dice Lady, lady Chica, yes, dice, yes, se pone mascarilla porque no puede infestar. <risa> ok, no. Uh, bueno, esperemos que, que, que se mejore, ¿verdad? Que eso pase rápido. Okay. All right, very good. Uh, Rebecca Guillón, how are you today? Hi, teacher. I'm fine. Excellent. Nice to see you. It's Friday today, it's the last day of class. Then we have Saturday and Sunday so we can relax. And we start all over again on Monday. So, but today is Friday. So it's, a, it's kind of a happy day or happy time for us. Uh, we can do it at happy yes. hour too. Was a normal day, fantastic. It was a fantastic day. Okay, any, any, um, any ongoing activity at your workplace today? 
alguna actividad. No. Um, sometimes we have a problem with the report that Rebeca, Rebeca, decline, but Rebeca. Alguien está peleando con usted porque se oye más, más falto el quien está peleando allí. <laughs> yes, it's my husband. Oh, okay. uh, have the, the call. And... Oh, ok, ok. Uh, cuando habla, habla bien fuerte. <laughs> es cantante, ¿verdad? Debe ser mariachi, quizás. <laughs> I think... Me hubiera dedicado a eso. <risa> y hubiera dicho, pero sigo siendo el rey. Yes, as, as ranchera sigo. Ranchero, yeah. There we go. All right. Uh, so nothing happening at the workplace. Not uh, any ongoing activity. Gracias a Dios. Relax. Yeah. Normal. Oh, no, uh, no. Some... some Friday is a uh, very hard uh, report, oh. clients, okay. uh, que nos piden trabajo para allá. Uh, today is relaxed. Entonces, sí, ¿sabe cómo se dice cuando un trabajo urge? Sí, pero ya, ya, ya. ¿Sab? No. <laughs> no. I needed yesterday. They say on you know, can, uh, can you work on this yes. one? I need it yesterday. <laughs> when do you need it? Yesterday. <laughs> so, yeah, ese es el saying que tienen. <laughs> casi siempre, casi siempre los clientes así dicen. Mm -hmm. Lo quiero para la ya. Sí. Uh -huh. Todo lo quieren urgente. Y a veces uno, no, es que hay que atender a otra gente. Y ¿Sí? pues se molestan a veces. Ay, no. Okay. Así que hay que correr. <laughs> yes. Uh -huh. Hay que darles un candy. Yes. <laughs> yeah. All right. Very good. Thank you, Rebecca. And Lady Chicas, how are you today? ¿Con qué está peleando? Se ve como que está peleando con algo, con el teléfono. I'm fine. Thanks, teacher. Es que está buscando una palabra para poder contestar. Oh, sí. And, pues no sé si estará bien. Today, take a photography and the graduation. Oh, graduation uh, picture. Congratulations. Oh, my yes. goodness. Very good. Thank you. Oh, my goodness. That's very nice. So it's it's another stage on, on your life, right? Uh, another happy time. Very good. Excellent. Yes. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you, teacher. And how do you feel? Happy. happy. Super happy. Exciting. <laughs> yes. Exciting. Yes. Sí, very exciting. Uh, <laughs> okay, where, where is gonna be the celebration? Um, the graduation is um, December. And December. Well, yes, okay, <laughs> but uh, uh, what about the no party celebration? No graduation celebration party? Todavía no lo he pensado. No, 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 pero you deserve it. You deserve it. Te lo mereces. Mucho trabajo para uh -huh. eso. Okay, very Thank good. You. Excellent, lady chicas. Thanks. Congratulations. Uh, Emeralda, how are you today? Mm, happy, teacher. Oh, and you? Oh, eso no me gustó. Mm. Yeah. Happy tomorrow is Saturday. Yeah, it's Saturday, but you look tired today. What happened? Te ves cansada. Wait. Eh, ya, pero ya me ya no voy a descansar, teacher. <laughs> okay, very good. Any ongoing activity at your workplace? Uh, today, teacher, uh, I check in accessories, but mm -hmm. uh, it también is a, I got the mirror at the new styles. Oh, okay. Very good. Yeah. Excellent. Excellent. I'll do that, teacher. Mm -hmm. All right. Very good. Excellent. I'm glad to hear that you guys are happy. So um, yeah. let's go ahead and uh, today is uh, the last day of uh, looking at chapter three or unit three. And uh, mm -hmm. we are going to do a review of everything that we have been seeing in uh, learning. Uh, for example, we have been talking about the present continuous in uh, present tense, uh, simple present. 
And we have been talking about the difference between the present continuous and the simple present. Also, we have talked about present continuous with the WH questions and uh, mm -hmm. uh, information about the uh, future events, yes, at the workplace. Um, so, what is the uh, what is the use? Why do we need to learn about the future uh, uh, or, or the present continuous? Why do you think we need to know about the present continuous and not only the simple present? ¿Por qué necesitamos saber del uh, continuo uh, present continuous y no solamente del simple present? Hablemos de actividades. Yeah. ¿Para qué usamos el, 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 el present continuous? ¿Para qué clase de actividades la usamos? Hi, Silvia. Hola, teacher. Hello. Good evening. Good evening, good evening. Eh, estamos uh, comenzando la clase y la pregunta es, eh, ¿para qué usamos el present continuo? ¿Para qué tipo de actividades usamos el present continuo? Porque si no, sola, eh, solamente hubiéramos aprendido acerca del simple present. Pero ¿por qué nos tomamos la, la molestia de aprender de present continuo? Cuando hablamos de actividades. Ay. Es como que uh, se, se quedó muda de un momento. Oh. Son de las, son como eh, para expresar actividades que se que usualmente usted hace, pero que no las está haciendo en determinado momento sino que son parte del día. ¿Podría ser eso? Ok, más o menos, más o menos. Eh, Esmeralda, ayúdenle. Para actividades temporales, teacher. Para temporales, sí, sí actividades temporales, hemos hablado de eso, sí. ¿Michelle? Es, sí, para actividades que, como dijo Esmeralda, temporales que vamos a desarrollar, pero que no sí, sí se va a desarrollar siempre. Uh -huh. Ok. José Ezequiel. Things are happening at the moment. Ok. Things moment. are happening at the moment. Uh, mm -hmm. Ok. Entonces, describimos ongoing activities, ¿verdad? Eh, el, el, el present continuo nos, nos sirve o help us to describe ongoing activities. Like, um, I am working on a report. Ese es algo que, ongoing activity, ¿verdad? Porque el present continuous nos, nos uh, sirve para, el, el, el simple present nos sirve solamente para indicar um, actividades eh, regulares. Yes, I print uh, reports. I, I make phone calls. I call customers. I, um, I have meetings, yes. Eso sería el simple present, pero cuando quiero decir que estoy llamándole a los clientes en, en ese momento, es una ongoing activity, digo, I am calling my clients. No digo solamente I call clients. ¿Sí la diferencia? Si no, si no supiéramos nosotros el present continuous, entonces no pudiéramos decir, no pudiéramos eh, eh, comunicar esas ongoing activities, que es lo que hemos estado viendo, ¿verdad? Esa es la diferencia entre el simple present y el present continuous. Simple present for regular activities y el uh, present continuous for ongoing activities. ¿Yes? Ahora, después de eso, ya que sabemos la, la, el uh, simple present y el present continuous, ¿y para qué lo usamos? Ahora, por, le agregamos la WH question. ¿Para qué le agregamos la WH question al present continuous? La WH word, ¿se acuerdan? Where, when, what, how, who. ¿Para qué se los agregamos, José Ezequiel? Si ya con suficiente con el present continuous, ya podemos eh, indicar ongoing activities. ¿Para qué necesitamos más la WH question entonces? Because we want to know more about something. More, ok, ok. Michelle. 
We want to more. We want to know more about something. Para qué le agregamos eh, la WH word? Para saber o para poder preguntar qué está haciendo en este momento, en ese preciso momento. Ok, yes, por ahí vamos, yes, yes, por ahí vamos. Rebeca, ¿a guión? Uh, when we ask for activities going in this moment o regular, como uh, rutinarias que se so están haciendo be the en present. este momento. Yes, so that will be the present continuous. Yes, um, that we use to describe ongoing activities. In the simple present tense for regular activities. Yes, uh, I am working on a project. Present continuous. I work on projects. A simple present. Pero ahora, ¿por qué le pusimos la WH word? Si ya podíamos decir, ya podíamos decir, uh, uh, we already knew how to talk about ongoing activities. Ya sabíamos cómo hablar en ongoing activities. ¿Para qué le agregamos la WH question? ¿Qué beneficio tiene la WH word cuando se la agrego al present continuous? Special question. Perdón. Special question. Special question. Mm. Algo... A specific question. Por, a, por ahí vamos. Specific. Yes, yes, pero no question. To provide uh -huh. specific, specific inf information. 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 About K. About person or something. No, about uh, future events. Future. Yes. About future events. What are you doing next week? See? Entonces le, le ponemos la WH question ahí. What are you doing next week? Where is going to, uh, is go, where is going to, where the party is going to take place? Yes. Future event, specific information. Where? Ese where ya me hace algo específico. Ya no solamente, uh, are we having a party? Yes. Vamos a tener un, un, una fiesta, sino que where the party is going to take place. ¿Dónde es que va a ser la fiesta? Sí. Eso ya es specific information. That's the reason why we need the WH words. So, entonces tenemos tres cosas que, que esta, en esta unidad aprendimos. Más de tres cosas. Pero las, una, una de esas, las tres importantes son present continuous. We use the present continuous to talk about ongoing activities. Para hablar acerca de actividades que están sucediendo. Ongoing activities. Y el simple present para uh, uh, regular activities, yes. Y la WH se la agrego, uh, I add the WH words to the uh, present continuous for specific information or something that's going, an event that's going to happen in the future, but it's something specific. ¿Tenemos eso ya? Sí. Son tres cosas que me, me interesa que sepamos. Entonces, uh, we use the simple present continuous tense to describe ongoing activities. Es el primero. La otra es que we use the present continuous WH question to provide specific information about the future events at work or at home, wherever you are. Yes. Y la otra es que, uh, ¿se acuerdan de temporary situations? I live in San Salvador. Okay, so we use the present continuous for temporary situation at the workplace. Yes, algo que no va a durar to toda la vida, es solamente temporal. Entonces usamos el simple present, el present continuous para usar eso. ¿Estamos bien? Yes. Eso fue el chapter 3. Eso fue el capítulo 3. Fue lo que vimos en el capítulo 3. ¿Alguna pregunta? ¿Algo específico que eh, quieran hacer un review de él? ¿No? Ok. Let's, sí, uh, yo quiero darle gracias al Señor. Eh, fue pasada en esta semana. Ok. Pues. Ah, yo pensé que. 
<ríe> ok, <ríe> me engañó. Ok, <ríe> ok. <ríe> Ok, entonces no era para nosotros eso, ¿verdad? Alguien, no sé qué están haciendo ahí, pero no era para nosotros. La radio. Oh, la radio era, ok. Ok, bueno, entonces vamos a, a, a irnos para el book. A ver qué es lo que... Hey, just a second. Aquí. En el book vamos a ver en la página... Uh, en esta página, we're going to uh, work on, uh, let's see, page 37. And on page 37, uh, we are going to work on this, uh, on this dialogue, the conversation. And what we're going to be looking at over here is that we're going to use the present continue for temporary situation at the workplace. And, uh, um, Also, what are temporary activities you are doing at your workplace? It will be one of these questions. These days, la palabra these days, esto indica algo temporal. ¿Por qué? Porque these days no es forever, ¿verdad? Solamente es these days. Entonces, cuando usted usa these days en una oración, está refiriéndose a temporal, temporal situations or temporary activities that happen either at the workplace or at your house. So think about the word whenever somebody's talking to you and say these days, he or she is referring to something temporary. Okay. Now we're going to listen to, you're going to listen to me uh, when I read the conversation, then you will practice with one of the, uh, your friends, uh, your classmates. So this is about uh, hi, uh, Ever and Beth, but you're gonna call your name instead of Ever and Beth, okay? Hi, Beth, long time no see. Esa es una, una expresión que siempre la, la, los norteamericanos tienen cuando tienen tiempo de no ver a alguien. Le dice, hey, long time no see. Eso quiere decir mucho tiempo de no verte. Long time no see. How are you? Hello, Ever. What are you doing these days? Entonces, ¿qué estás haciendo en estos días? Yeah. Eso es lo temporal, en estos días. Cuando pasa estos días, ya se terminó la acción. What are you doing these days? I am okay. Well, I am working on a new project. And also, I am taking an English, class, an English course these days. How about you? Yeah. Entonces, ¿qué es lo que está haciendo? Tomando un curso de inglés these days. Eso quiere decir que es algo temporal. El curso de inglés no va a durar por toda la vida, ¿verdad? Y luego dice, that sounds great. What a coincidence. I am also taking an English course. English is essential at the workplace these days. I know. A colleague who completed the course is taking a training in England these days. So, esto puede ser algo como para que nosotros lo tomemos en cuenta que estudiar inglés no solamente nos da eh, una habilidad de un lenguaje, sino que nos abre puertas. En caso de que vaya a haber una oportunidad, usted va a ser la elegida. Usted lady o, o man va a tener la oportunidad de poder eh, aplicar por esa oportunidad ¿Yes? ¿Por qué? Porque tiene la habilidad del inglés entonces eh, they take uh, in consideration this uh, uh, conversation eh, que están hablando acerca de las oportunidades que el inglés le brinda. Entonces dice I know a college who completed the course is taking a training in England these days. You're right. I am studying on my own. You know, I am reading novels to have better results. Great. Well, I am doing listening exercise. They'll they help a lot. Okay? So, this is 
uh, something that uh, um, if we want to learn the English, we need to uh, do our part as well, like studying by yourself, read a book, read a newspaper, and um, uh, listen to, to audios, listen to music, listen to uh, movies, yeah, put the movie in uh, English mode and no, no subtitles, so you can build your listening habit, okay? So um, let's go ahead and, and uh, we're going to practice the conversation. And is there any word that you want me to go over? ¿Hay alguna palabra que usted quiere que, que la explique? ¿Algo que usted no haya entendido de este diálogo? Yes, teacher. Ok. Eh, ¿Qué significa I am studying on my own? Yes. On w I'm studying on my own. Sí. Estoy estudiando por mi cuenta. Ok. Yes. Y se dice on. On my own. On. Sí. On quiere decir, eh, cuando usted lo lee, es, es cuando usted ve esa palabra, ella sola, significa eh, eh, dueño de algo. On. Ah, eh, por ejemplo, si le ponen la ER, al final ya diría owner. Dueño. Sí. On es algo que yo soy dueño de algo. Por ejemplo, dice, I am uh, the owner of this house. I am the owner of this car. Yes. Soy el dueño de este carro. El dueño de esta casa. Owner. Yes. Okay. Very good. Good question. Any other word that you want me to explain? ¿Alguna otra palabra que ustedes quieren que les explique? No. Okay. So be well you're the thinking about it. Let me call roll, okay? Let's see. Abigail Mejia. Present teacher. Thank you. Alison Guadalupe Marroquín. Okay, Andrea Amalia. Present teacher. Thank you. Andrea Marie, Maria Cruz. Present. Thank you. Esmeralda del Carmen. Present teacher. Thank you. Uh, Gabriela Beatriz Moreno. Present. Thank you. Uh, Jonathan Alexis Alfaro. And uh, Jose Ezequiel Guzman. Here, teacher. Thank you, sir. Kenya Elizabeth Rodriguez Salaya. I'm here, teacher. Thank you. Just a second. Let's see. One moment, please. Okay, I have, uh, thank you, Lady Xiomara. Present teacher. Okay. Thank you. I have uh, Maritza, Maritza Marvely. No, okay. I have uh, maybe Marvely. No. I have uh, Paola Stephanie. Present teacher. Maritza eh, escribe en el chat. Present. ¿Qué dice Maritza? Present. Okay. Maritza Yanira, ¿verdad?
Yes, it is. Okay. Um, Paola Stephanie? Me, present. <laughs> okay. And uh, Rafael Gerardo Magaña? Yes. Okay. Rebecca Guadalupe Guillón? Present. Thank you. Uh, Roxana Lisette? Okay. Sofia Stephanie Portillo? Stephanie Michelle? Present teacher. Thank you. Wendy Selenia Alvarado? Okay. Emma Gloria Martinez? Present teacher. Thank you. Raquel Beatriz Segura? Present teacher. Thank you. And uh, Stephanie Raquel Diaz? And Anna Silvia. Present teacher. Thank you. Okay. Okay, let's have uh, Rebecca and Emma, please, reading the uh, conversation. Okay. Hi, Rebecca. Long time you see. How are you? Hello, Emma. What are you doing these days? Mm -hmm. I am okay. Well, I am working on a new project. And also, I am talking an English course these days. How about you? That sounds great. What a, co a coincidence. I am also talking an English course. English is essential at the, at the workplace these days. I know. A college completed the course in two, in, is taking a training in English this day. You are right. I am studying on my own, you know. I am really nervous to have the, to have better results. Great. Well, I am doing listening exercise. exercise. They help a lot. Okay, exercises. Yeah, very good. Switch places, please. Okay. Hi, Emma. Long time of see. How are you? Hello, Rebecca. What are you doing these days? I am okay. Well, I am working on a few projects and also I am talking an uh, English course these days. How about you? That sounds great. What a coincidence. I am also taking in English course. English is essential at the workplace these days. I know. A college who complete the course is talking a training in England okay. these days. You are right. I am studying uh, on my own, you know. I am reading novels to have very results. Great. Well, I am doing listening exercise. They help a lot. Okay, good job, good job. Um, Emma, studying, remember studying, no, uh, la okay. U en inglés se oye como A, ah, entonces eh, eso sería studying. 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 Studying, yes. Very okay. good, excellent. Good job. Excellent. Se ve más fluido ya. Muy buen, buen trabajo. Eh, Michelle, please. Uh, y, and uh, 
Michelle and uh, Sylvia. Okay. Vaya, Sylvia. Inicia usted. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, hi, Michelle. Long time no see. How are you? Hello, Sylvia. What are you doing this day? <clears throat> I am okay. Well, I am working on a new project. And also, I am tell, talking an English course this day. What about you? That sounds great. What a coincidence. I, I am also taking an uh, English course. English is essential at the, at the workplace these days. No. A college who complete, complete the course is taking a training in England this day. You are right. I am, I am studying on my own. You, you know, I am reading novels to have various results. Great. Well, I am doing listen, listening exercise. They help a lot. Okay. Good. Good job. Um, tengamos cuidado en las, um, cuando el artículo, in article, the, the uh, indefinite article, every time you have a word that starts with the vowel sound, you're going to add an N to the article. Uh, for example, where it says, uh, I'm taking an English, an English, an English. You have to uh, pronounce the end of, uh, of the word. Otherwise, it will sound uh, weird. No se va a escuchar bien. Si usted lo dice a English, yes. Tiene que decir an English. Okay? And uh, every time we have uh, the, the past uh, of... Uh, of, of uh, um, a word like uh, completed, uh, cuando termina en T, the, esa ed se ve como id, completed, completed. Ok. También studying, la palabra studying se dice studying, no studying. Uh, la U se tiene que oír, oír, escuchar como una A, studying. Yes. And uh, taking, taking course, taking course. Tiene que irse como course, como course, ¿ok? No, course, course es una, una cerveza. C-O-O-R-S-E, course. Es una cerveza, sí, la bala de plata le llaman en los Estados Unidos. Yeah. Silvia, yo creo que eso ha escuchado, ¿verdad, Silvia? Una course. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> okay, very good. Okay, let's switch places, please. Thank you. Okay. Hi, Sylvia. Long time no see. No see. Who are you? No, how are you? No, who are you? <laughs> how are you? I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. Hello. Hello, Michelle. What are you doing this day? I am okay. Well, I, I am working on a new project and also I am taking an English course this day. How about you? That's so great. What a coincidence. I am also taking an English course and English is essential at the workplace this day. I know a college who complicate Complete the course is taken a training in England this date. You are right. I am studying on my own. You know, I am reading novels to have better results. Great. Well, I am doing listening to exercise. They help a lot. Very good. Good job. Excellent. Excellent. <laughs> Ya de poco, ya dentro de poco ya no me van a necesitar a mí, ya ustedes ya, ya están, ya están muy avanzados. Yes. 
Tengo que tener cuidado, si no me voy a quedar sin trabajo. ¿eh? <ríe> ok, Esmeralda en Paola, please. ¿Quién va a empezar? ¿Mm? Allí sí no me meto porque son dos ladies. Ahí ustedes son la que tienen que mover el cuerpo. Paola y Esmeralda. Empiece si quiere. Ok. Hi, Paola. Long time no see. How are you? Hello, Esmeralda. What are you doing these days? I am okay. Well, I am working on a new project and also I'm talking an English course this day. How about you? That sounds great. <laughs> great. What a coincidence. I am also taking an English course. Uh, English is essential essential at the workplace these days. I know. A colleague who complete the course is talking a trainee in England this day. You are right. I am studying on my own. You know, I am reading novels to have better results. Great. Well, I enjoy listening exercise. They help a lot. They help a lot. Very good. Excellent. Okay, good job. Just uh, remember that uh, uh, taking uh, is the word taking, like uh, tomando, ¿verdad? Taking an English course. Tomando un curso de inglés. Thinking. Okay, very good. Exercise. Uh, let's uh, uh, switch places, please. Hi, Esmeralda. Long time no see. How are you? Hello, Paola. What are you doing this day? I am okay. Well, I am working on a new project. And also, I am taking an English course these days. How about you? That's so great. What a coincidence. I am also talking and English core, English is essential at the workplace this day. I know a college who completed the, the course is taking a training in England this day. You are right. I am study on my own, you know, I am ready novels to have better results. Great. Well, I am doing I am doing listening exercises. They have they help a lot. Very good. Excellent. Good job. Good job, Paola and Esmeralda. Thank you. Now if I can have a Abigail and uh, Jonathan, please. Good evening. Good evening, Jonathan. Good evening, everybody. Good evening. Um, si gusta, inicio usted. Okay. Con, con quien, teacher? Sorry. Con Jonathan. Jonathan. Okay. Hi, Jonathan. Long time no see. How are you? Eh, Paola, ¿verdad? Sí, Abigail. Paola. Abigail. Abigail. Sorry. Paola es... Hello. es... Hello, Abigail. What are you doing these days? I am okay. Well, I'm working on a new project. And also, I am taking an English course this day. How about you? That sounds great. What a coincidence. I am also taking an English course. English is essential at the workplace that these days. I know a college who completed the course is taking a training in England these days. You are right. 
I am standing on my own. You know, you know, I am reading novels to have better re results. Results. Great. Results. Well. Great. Well, I am doing listening exercise. They help a lot. Yes, exercises. They help a lot. Very good. Excellent. Okay, let's uh, switch places, please. Hi, Abigail. Long time no see. How are you? Hello, Jonathan. What are you doing these days? I am okay. Well, I am working on a new project and also I am taking an English course these days. How about you? That sounds great. What a coincidence. I am also taking an English course. English is essential at the workplace today. I know a college who completed the course and taking a training in English, England these days. You are right. I am studying on my own. You know, I am reading novel, novels to have better results. 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 Great. Well, I am doing listening exercise. They help a lot. Very good. Exercises. Is a plural exercises. They help a lot. Exercises. Very good. Yes. Good job. Um, thank you, Jonathan and Abigail. Can I have uh, Raquel and Lady, please? Raquel Segura, teacher. Uh, Raquel Segura, sí. Okay. Ah, ok. ¿Con, ¿Con quién voy, perdón? Con uh, Lady. Con Lady. Ay, lady. Lady. Bye. Lady and Red. Um, bueno, hi, Raquel. <laughs> no time, no see. How are you? Hello, uh, Lady. What are you doing this day? I am okay. Well, I am working on the new project and also I am taking an English course this day. How about you? The song great what coincidence I am I am so taking English course English is essential and the workplace this day. I know a college who who completed the course is taking a training in England this day. You are right. I am studying on me on you. Now I am reading novels to have better result. result. Great. Well, I am doing listening exercise. They help a lot. Okay, thank you. Uh, Raquel, ¿puede leerme el, el párrafo anterior, por favor, otra vez? You are right. Ese. Sí, por favor, please. You, you are right. I am studying on me on, you know, I am reading novels to have better results. Ok, se lo voy a leer, ok. You okay. are right. I am studying on my Stop. own. You know, I am reading novels to have better results. Okay. Lo leo otra vez. Please, please. You are right. I am studying on my own. You know, I am reading novels to have better results. Results. Very good. Está mejor. Result, result. Yes, yeah, está mejor. Very good. Ahora, switch places, please. Come in the lugar. Okay. Hi, Larry. Lady. Long time no see. How are you? Hello, Raquel. What are you doing these days? I am okay. 
where I am working on a new project and as I am taking, taking an English course this day, how about you? That sounds great. What a coincidence. I am also taking an English course. English is essential and the workplace these days. I know a college who complete the course is taking and training in England this day. You days. Right. Pardon. Pardon. You are right. I am studying on my, on my own. You know, I am reading novels to have better results. Great. Well, I am doing listening exercise to help a lot. Okay, so it's great. Well, I am doing listening exercises. They help a lot. Okay, leamos otra vez. Okay, great. I great. Well, I am doing listening exercises. They help a lot. Okay, very good. Excellent. Good job. Excellent. Thank you, uh, Lady and you, Raquel. Now, can I have Kenya and Jose Ezequiel, please? Okay. Yes, Kenya. Hi. Comienzas tú o yo? Comienza usted. Hi, Jose. Long time no see. How are you? Hi, Kenya. What are you doing these days? I am okay. Well, I am working on a new project. And also, I am taking an English course these days. How about you? That sounds great. What a coincidence. I'm also taking an English course. English is essential at the workplace these days. I know a colleague who completed the, that course is taking a training in England these days. You're right. I'm studying on my own, you know. I'm studying novels to have better results. Great. Well, I am doing listening exercises. They help a lot. Good. Excellent. They help a lot. Okay, let's switch places, please. Okay. Hi, Kenya. Long time no see. How are you? Hello, Jose. What are you doing this day? Okay, well, I'm working on a new project and also I am talking an English course these days. How about you? That sounds great. What a coincidence. I am also taking an English course. English is essential at the workplace these days. I know. A colleague who completed the, the course is talking at training in England, in England these days. You are right. I am studying on my own. You know, I am reading novels to have better results. Great. Well, I'm doing listening exercises. They help a lot. Okay. Vamos a, a leer otra vez, José. Eh, taking, uh, tú me dices uh, uh, otra palabra, taking, y how about you? How about you? Dilo más despacio para que lo puedas articular bien. How about you? And what teacher? And uh, taking, I am taking English course. Course is uh, taking a training in England. La palabra taking. E, how about you? Mm. Uh, how about taking you? It. Yes, taking. It's la, taking training. Aha, la palabra taking. Dice, taking a training. I am taking an English course. A uh, course is taking a training in England. In England these days. Sí, aha. This uh, a colleague who completed the course is taking a training in English these days. England, yes, England. England, England yes. Okay. It's taking a training. In English. Yes, uh -huh. 
Y la otra de arriba donde dice, I am okay, well, I'm working on a new project and also I'm taking an English course these days. How about you? Well, I'm working on a new project and also I am working at the English course these days. How about you? Okay, yeah, better. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Okay. Good job, uh, Kenya and Jose Ezequiel. Now, can I have Maritza and uh, Andrea Maria, please? Good, good evening, teacher. Good evening, teacher. Yes. Maritza y... and Andrea Maria. Usted comienza o yo, Marta. Eh, okay. Hi, eh, Maritza. Long time. No, long time. No see. How are you? Quiero ver, Andrea, es eh, verdad. Sí. Um, hello, Andrea. What are you doing these days? I am okay. Well, I am working on a new project and also I am talking an English course days. How about you? That sounds great. What a coincidence. I'm also taking an English course. English is essential, essential or essential? Essential, ¿verdad? Essential, sí. At the workplace these days. I know a college who complete the course is is taking a try training in England these days. You are right. I'm I am I am staying on my own. Own, you know. I am reading novels to have better results. Great. Well, I am doing listen exercise. They help a lot. Okay. Okay. Uh, great. <laughs> yes, great. I am doing listening exercises. They help a lot. Also, I know a colleague who completed the course is taking a training in England these days. Leamos esos dos párrafos otra vez, por favor. Eh, ah, yo o oh, Andrea. Eh, ¿Quién leyó? ¿Quién era Ever? Eh, yo. Okay. En el párrafo que comienza con I know. I know, sí. Uh -huh. I know a college who complete the course no, is ahí, ahí taking es donde, a... Eso, permítame, eh, la palabra es sí. completed, completed. Com, completed. Yes, y el, ese es colleague, a colleague. A, al colleague. A colleague, yes. No alcohólico. <laughs> a colleague. <laughs> No es college, porque college es colegio. A colleague. A colleague. Mm -hmm. I know a colleague who complete the course completed. is taking. Completed. Completed. Yes. Completed. What there is? I know. A, I know a colleague. Colleague. Who completed. I know a col. ¿Cómo dijo teacher? Perdón. A colleague. A colleague. Mm -hmm. I know a colleague who complete, completed mm -hmm. the course is taking a tra tra training in England these days. England. England. Yes, England. Ok, le damos otra vez. I know a a colleague who completed the course is taking a tra training in England these days. These days, okay, muy bien. Ahora el último párrafo. Uh, great, 
Well, I am doing listening exercise. They help a lot. Yes, exercises, they help a lot. Very good, it's better. Okay, now switch places, please. Okay, Andrea. Hi, Andrea. Long time, see. How are you? Hello, Maritza. What are you doing these days? I am okay. Well, I am working on a new project. And also, I am taking an English course this day. How about you? That's so, so great. What a coincidence. What a coincidence. What a coincidence. I am also taking an English course. English is a essential at the work, workplace these days. I know a colleague who completed the course is taking a training in England this day. Days, perdón. Mm -hmm. You are right. I am studying on my own. You know, I am reading novels to have better result, results. Results. Right. Yeah. Well, I am doing listening, listening, listening exercise. They help a lot. Good job. Thank you. It's better. Thank you very much. Thank you. Okay. Thank for your participation, Andrea and uh, maybe. No, Andre Maritza. Maritza. Okay. <laughs> now, can I have maybe Marvely and Roxana Lisette, please? Hello? Maybe? And Roxana Lisette? Okay, very good. And uh, Rafael, are you going to be able to uh, participate in class? Okay, very good. Excellent. Okay, um, very good. Good job. The people who uh, participated uh, are doing a great job. Thank you. Thank you for the, your participation. Now let's uh, continue with the exercise over here. And uh, now what we're going to do is we, go, we are going to respond to, to this question. What are some of the things Ever and Beth are doing these days? Vamos a ver que, what are some of the things Ever and Beth are doing these days? Basado en lo que leímos, ¿qué, ¿qué es lo que están haciendo? Taking, taking English course. Taking English. Taking English course, ¿verdad? Both of them are taking English course. Very good. That would be the first one. And the second one is, uh, what things do you have in common with the people in the conversation? Uh, por ejemplo, let's see. Kenya, what do you have in common with the people in the conversation? Kenya? Yes, teacher. Yes. Uh, the common things are um, both are studying English and an English course. And Only that, teacher, what but things, in yes. the conversation, explain uh, the methodology for each one. Yeah, uh, mm, I think you're confused, Kenya. What things do you have in common with ah. the people in the conversation? Yes, teacher, I'm sorry. I understand um, Beth and, and Ever. 
the same since I am studying English too, and this is my my activity common with with there with them. Okay, like for example, Ever is working on a new project and is taking English classes. Okay. I, I I am not working in project, but I take in English course. Okay, so you will be uh, the common thing that you guys will have is that the, both of you are taking English classes. Very good. Excellent. Yes. Okay, and uh, let's see, Esmeralda. What things do you have in common with the uh, people in the conversation? And um, the English course. Um, voy a poner la conversación, teacher. Uh, yes, okay, English course. That will be a common uh, thing that you have. Uh, the other thing, you're not working on a new project, right? Uh, you're not mm -hmm. uh, uh, studying on your own. You are not uh, doing a listening exercises. Mm -hmm. You're not reading anything. Mm -hmm. No? No. Okay. So the only thing in common is that you are taking English course. Yes. All right. So um, thank you. And Paola, what do you have in common with these uh, people? I am studying English. Okay. Um, studying English. Uh, I listening um English music. Okay. Okay. Instead of and reading novels, you're listening to English music. Okay. Very good. Excellent. And Jonathan, what are some things that uh, that you have in common? With the people in the country? I... Uh, I take I taking mm -hmm. an English course. Okay, you're taking English course, and are you studying on your own uh, something? Are you reading a novels or any book or doing listening exercises? I listening exercises you are doing the, listening the conversation okay so you are doing listening exercises yes very good excellent and uh, let's see rebecca what things do you have in hi, common teacher hi mm, only we are taking an english course okay only that. Only that. Uh, you're not studying on your own. You're not reading any books. And you're not doing any listening exercises. No. Lo quiero hacer. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Very good. Excellent. And Emma, what are the things that you have in common with these people? And I am taking... English course. Okay. And I am doing listening exercise. Listening exercises. Very good. Are you listening to music or what are you doing in the listening exercises? Uh, yes, listening to music. Listen to music. Good. Good exercise. Very good. Excellent. And um, okay, Raquel Segura. What are the common things that you have with these people? Raquel? Okay, very good. Um, Sylvia, what are the things that you have in common with these people? Uh, I am taking an English course. Okay. I am 
está en inglés. English. Okay. Uh -huh. uh, I am reading books. Better result, o sea, uh -huh, better res, re, res, results. You o are sea, reading. Ajá. Ajá. Trato de leer eh, como libros en inglés, no porque, ay, qué fluido, sino que, <risa> es, no, o sea, es real. Eh, hay palabras que se quedan cuando usted va leyendo y entonces se va familiarizando a cómo se escriben. Uh -huh. Entonces, eso me ayuda un poco. Y lo otro es, I am, I am, lo, I am doing listening exercise, eh, music. Ajá. Uh -huh. uh, and videos. Okay, very good. So, videos. Yes, videos. Yes, yes. Yo entendí, Silvia. Videos, yes. Es que no sé pronunciar bien. No, si lo pronuncia bien. ¿Quién le ha dicho que no sabe pronunciar bien? ¿Quién le ha dicho esa mentira? Yo no sé si me está animando o es sarcasmo. No, 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 no. no, no. Eh, vi, siempre que yo le, cuando yo le, le corrijo algo, ¿cuántas le he corregido? ¿Cuántas palabras le he corregido? No muchas, de 100, de 100, unas dos o tres. Ah, no, mentiras. Le, no, gracias, gracias por el apoyo. Silvia, le corregí, aquí tengo las notas, vea, le corregí taking course y completed. Esas fueron las únicas tres que yo le corregí en todo esto. Ok. Entonces, y lo demás no entendí. So, eh, alguien le ha mentido que no sabe pronunciar bien. Sí. <risa> Excelente, yeah, very you. good. Entonces, yeah, you have more the common things than, than other people in this uh, uh, class uh, with these people. Entonces, tienen co cosas más comunes con estas eh, personas mm, que otros en la clase. Dice que estudia en your own, eh, read books, y do uh, ex uh, uh, listening exercise. Very good, Silvia, very good, excellent. Good job. All right, and um, let's see. I have uh, Jose Ezequiel. What are the common things that you have with these people in this exercise? Sorry, sorry. What are the common things that you have with these people from the conversation? Uh, we're studying English. Okay, yes, studying English. Yes, yes. You don't wow. you don't study by your own like uh, uh, duolingual or, or or see uh, videos on uh, YouTube about English uh, uh, grammar. You don't read any book. You don't do any listening exercises. Yes. In fact, I, I'm I'm listening some audios every day at morning and okay. and also I I try to read. Uh, some readings uh, every good. day, is, uh, a little moment, but uh, yes. I would like to advance uh, in this case. Very good, very good. And uh, we can see that uh, effort that you're doing, uh, Jose. Podemos ver ese, ese esfuerzo que haces porque se nota en tu, en tu forma de hablar, en tus articulaciones, en tu vocabulario que tienes, se, se nota todo lo que tú haces. Así es que está trabajando eso. Very good. Good job. Excelente. Eh, Esmeralda, eh, any common things uh, uh, with these people? Teacher, ya participé, pero lo que le dije fue que I took the English course only that. Ok. So, entonces, okay. Solo, solamente eso. No lee, no escucha música, no, no, nada. No. no, no hay tiempo, ¿ah? <laughs> Todos sí. los fines de semana. Oh, ok, very good, yes, se pasa muy ocupada. Excelente, yeah. ok, and uh, let's continue then. Thank you for your participation. And uh, we're done with this one. Now let's, uh, let's see how to use present continuous for temporary situation. Esto ya, ya lo explicamos, pero... Uh, el libro, eh, vamos a ver la explicación que da el libro. Eh, dice, use the present continuous for temporary situations. Es lo que hemos estado hablando. The expressions uh, these days and at the moment 
are often used to emphasize the temporary aspect of the activity. Entonces, cuando usted ve la palabra, las palabras these days y at the moment, eso enfatiza más que la, la acción que estamos hablando es temporal. Ok. Unos examples son, I am reading a new book these days. And, uh, Silvia diría, oh, teacher, I am reading a new book these days. Entonces, estoy leyendo un libro en estos días. Yeah? These days indica que es algo temporal. This is a temporary activity because the person will finish reading the book. Entonces, lo que dice aquí es que es temporal. ¿Por qué? Porque la persona, en este caso Silvia, va a terminar de leer el libro, ¿verdad? Entonces, uh, por eso es que es temporal. En la segunda ejemplo dice, Wendy is having a meeting at this moment. ¿Ya? ¿Qué quiere decir? Que está llevando a cabo una acción, pero que el meeting va a terminar pronto. No va a ser para siempre, ¿verdad? El meeting es algo temporal. La tercera ejemplo dice, we are taking an English course. The course will end. El, el curso va a terminar. Por ejemplo, nuestro curso, ¿cuándo termina? Next week, en Friday. No es para toda la vida, ¿verdad? Entonces, uh, we are taking an English course at this moment or these days. Le podemos agregar para indicar que es una acción temporal. All right? Ok. ¿Alguna pregunta de cómo hacer las uh, acciones temporales? No. Ok, very good. Lo que vamos a hacer ahorita es uh, we're going to write a six line paragraph about temporary events at your workplace. Ya hablamos de esto, pero ahora lo que vamos a hacer lo vamos a escribir. Si alguno de ustedes ya lo tiene escrito, pues eh, good for you, ¿verdad? Vamos a practicar las pronunciaciones y cómo leer. Pero si no, we're going to write six lines paragraph. Vamos a escribir eh, un párrafo de seis líneas acerca de los uh, uh, eventos temporales que tiene usted en el lugar de trabajo. ¿Sí? Entonces vamos a agarrar unos 10 eh, minutos para hacer este escrito y cada uno lo vamos a leer a ver cómo se escucha, ¿ok? Entonces a las 9.27 vamos a, a empezar ya a leer esos... Teacher, yes, sir. It doesn't matter if we if we write something is not true. It doesn't matter. It's it's just what we what I want to see is uh, how you mentioned the uh, uh, temporary actions or temporary events at your workplace. Something that is not uh, permanent. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Welcome.
teacher. Señorita. Uh, how, how do you say in English incapaz? Not able to. ¿Cómo? Not able to. Not able to. Able to. Ok. Sí, eso sería incapaz. Not able to lift a uh, hundred pounds. Incapaz de no levantar cien libras. Mm, no. Y, eh, me refiero, me, haciendo referencia a una incapacidad de una persona. Ah, entonces no, eso no, 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 eso no es incapacidad, sino que inability, yes. It disabled. inability. Yes. O sea, alguien que está deshabilitado, ¿verdad? Disabled. Disabled. Ajá. Disabled. Esa es, una, esa es una incapacidad, o sea, no puede hacer algo. Yes. Es disabled. Disabled. Gracias. Uh -huh. Disabled, disabled. Teacher. Yes, ma'am. How do you say presentar? Cuando, to present. Uh, I have meeting in the teams and I presentar, presentar el, word, el PowerPoint, por ejemplo. Yes, uh, this is PowerPoint presentation. Power. Mm -hmm. Podría decir, my boss. Present. Y el verbo, teacher? Present. 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 Mm -hmm. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Finish the chat. Thank you.
Are you tired, Esmeralda? Right. Yes. Huh? Mm -hmm. Almost done? <sighs> what happened? <laughs> Finished, teacher. Okay, thank you. And Sylvia, finished? Sí, todo hecho. Okay, well, ya estamos cerca. Solo son seis. Oh. Oh. Teacher. Yes, sir. How do you say yo actualizo? I update. I update. Teacher. Yes. Yo lo voy haciendo como un párrafo, está bien. Sí, 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 es lo que dice un párrafo de, de ah, okay. seis, seis oraciones. Dice aquí a uh, Write a six-line paragraph about temporary events at the workplace. Okay. Okay. Raquel, ¿cómo estamos? How are we doing, Raquel? Segura. Pues, yo no digo que ya te echo. Si ¿Sí? no, ahí me va a poncho. A ver si ¿Mm? que le agregue más. Sí. <risa> Estuvo tengo fácil. Tengo una duda. Uh -huh. Tengo una duda con una palabra. Ok. Ahorita le digo. Eh... 
aquí yo quiero eh, poner uh, cambio. ¿En qué estilo? Podemos, ¿En qué eh, contexto? Podemos decir el cambio es uh, cambio de moneda, cambio de vida, cambio de dirección. No, eh, eh, cambio de, eh, vaya, digamos, mis horarios son temporales. Okay. Entonces, este cambia cada tres meses. Ok, changes every three months. Changes. Change. Uh -huh. Changes. My schedule changes every three months. Ok. Teacher. Uh -huh. Señorita. Is correct, correct to see the word maintenance para un mantenimiento de un sistema? Sí. Uh -huh. Maintenance, correct. yes. Uh -huh. También lo puede decir servicing, servicing, updating. En caso de que estén actualizando algo, se dice updating. O le están dando servicios, servicing, o main, maintaining, o giving maintenance. Thank you, teacher. Uh -huh. Okay, are we almost done? Who needs uh, more time? Who needs more time? Yo, teacher, solo estoy haciendo unas pequeñas correcciones. Okay. Thank you for letting me know. Teacher, it's not easy for me. Don't it's forget that. What is not easy I'm for you, Jose? I can't Don't forget that. I'm, I'm inventing. <laughs> okay. Yeah, you are the making up. Okay. Sorry? Cuando estás inventando algo, es making up. Making up. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you. Making up. Yes, I'm making up. Uh, like uh, creating. Sí, uh -huh. Are pero no sé inventing of my mind. Mm -hmm. okay. okay making up yes I'm making is that up, a phrasal verb like uh, I'm making up a uh, phrasal verb yes I'm making up uh, a, a scene I'm making up a story I'm making up uh, um, like a situation see ¿Sí? estoy inventando una situación <laughs> okay Uh -huh. Aquí lo acabo de apuntar. Ok. Emma, ¿estás listo? Hello, teacher. ¿Estás listo? Le voy a decir algunas. <risa> es, es un párrafo, ¿verdad? Es un párrafo. Ah, yo hice oraciones. Pero como párrafo. Mm -hmm. okay. I am coming in at uh, 7 o'clock a.m. 
in this month. E eventos, uh, eventos temporales. Mm, es que solo es este mes. Ese es una solo es este mes. Uh -huh. es, pero un evento, ¿sabe qué es un evento? Ajá. Ok. Ok, y la otra, uh, in these days, I am paying service to provide. To, to providers. No sé cómo se, se pronuncia proveedores. Este, ¿qué es lo que está haciendo? Eh, eh, estoy pagando a algunos proveedores en estos días. Providers, okay. yes, providers, some providers. providers. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I am doing a monthly data backup. I am doing doing uh, data backup. Ah, uh, data backup. Uh -huh. Data backup. Data, también se dice mm. data backup. Uh, data backup. Yes, data backup. Data backup. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, I am have. I am. I am having. Mm -hmm. Having. Sí, I am having. Yes, uh -huh. having I am having training this month. Uh, for this month, okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, for in this, this month. month. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Okay. I am calling clients in this week. I am calling clients this week. Uh, something, something, client. Yes, this week, right? This week. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Okay, I think it's all right. Let me see just a second. Teacher. Yes. Pues quizás me equivoqué yo también. ¿Por qué? Lo puedo leer ahorita. Por Digo supuesto. Ay, permítame. Vaya. Tengo que llevar un, un registro aquí y de okay. quién está eh, Esmeralda, ¿verdad? Yes. Esmeralda, ok. Ya yeah, right. okay. My events today. I am checking accessories the new styles because my co-worker, she didn't work today. I'm going to assembly the new style because I haven't admitted about the author, I going to scan the document that my boss. In the meantime, he having other meeting, only that. Son seis líneas. Yo tengo seis. Mm -hmm. Y me gusta sus transitional words after that. Very good. Excellent. Yes. Good job. Excellent. Okay. Muy bien. Okay. Tengo Emma. Que el Emma. Uh, okay. Maritza Sanchez. Maritza? Okay. Andrea Amalia? Andrea Amalia? No? Okay. Present teacher. Eh, ¿Puede prender la cámara, por favor? Estaba durmiendo. Oh, my God, está cansada. Ah. Ok, ¿me da su, 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 su ejercicio, por favor?
Andrea. Okay. Um, Gabriela Beatriz. Gabriela. Can you hear me, teacher? Yes, yes, I can hear you. Yes. Wait. Um, in my work, I'm going to do a report of the purchase these days. And then I'm going to having a new product training next month. Also, in my work, we are going to the Reflex Factory in Metapan next month. And finally, we are going to change office at, at the end of the year. Okay. Very good. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, thank you. Roxana Lisette. Roxana Lisset? No. Okay. Uh, maybe Marvelly. Okay. Andrea Maria. Teacher, sorry. Está pasando lista, ¿no? ¿Verdad? Eh, estoy pa, pidiendo el ejercicio. Ah, vaya, yo dije, está pasando lista y no me escuché. ¿Puede prender la cámara, por favor? La tengo encendida, teacher. Oh, no, no la veo. Abigail. Abigail. No. Ahí estoy. Yo sí ah. me veo. Andrea María. No, yo soy Abigail, teacher. No, Andrea María, dije. Lo siento. Ok. All right. Uh, ¿y ¿Quién más? Alison Marroquín. Alison. No responde. Okay. Okay. Let me uh, call roll. Antes de que se vayan. Uh, let's see. Um, Abigail Mendoza, Mejia Mendoza. Present teacher. Thank you. Alison Guadalupe. ¿Cómo está? Andrea Amalia García Romes. Romeo. Hello. Andrea Amalia. Present teacher. Andrea, uh, ¿y la tarea? ¿Y la, el ejercicio? No, no lo tengo, teacher. ¿Perdón? No lo tengo, disculpe. De verdad que sí me siento mal. Y he tratado la mayor parte de estar aquí. Ok. Pero... Ok. Ok, no se preocupe, tranquila, mejorese. All right. Eh, Andrea María Cruz. María Cruz. Present teacher. Ok. Eh, Esmeralda del Carmen Ayala Beltrán. 
Present, teacher. Thank you. Gabriela Beatriz Moreno Ventura. Present, teacher. Thank you. Uh, Jonathan Alexis. Present, teacher. Thank you. Jose Ezequiel Guzman. Here. Thank I'm you. here, teacher. Thank you. Kenya Elizabeth Rodriguez. I'm here, teacher. Thank you. Uh, Lady Xiomara. Present, teacher. Thank you. Marisa Yanira Hernandez de Sanchez. Present, teacher. Thank you. Maybe Marvel Rodriguez. No. Y Paola nice. Stephanie Mejia Hernandez. Thank you. Rafael Gerardo. Rafael. No. Ok. Y Rebeca Guadalupe Guillón Mendoza. Present. Thank you. Roxana Lisette Vega Campos. Sofía Stephanie Portillo. Stephanie Michelle Oviero Martinez. Present teacher. Thank you. Wendy Selenia Alvarado. Uh, Emma Gloria Martinez. Present. Thank you. Raquel Beatriz Segura. Present teacher. Thank you. Stephanie Raquel Diaz. And Silvia Hernandez. Present teacher. Okay, alguien que esté allí no lo, no lo he mencionado. Todos, ¿verdad? Okay, uh, let's see. Quiero escuchar a uh, Abigail Mejía. Okay, teacher. Thank you. And some, some Evans. Sorry. Sí, amor, espérame un momento. Sí. Dame dos minutos, please. Es que un ave, mi amor. Sí, es un ave. Sorry, teacher. Es, es un bebito, es un bebito. Está bien, tranquila. Son events that my office there are um, having evalue annual evaluation mm -hmm. and uh, listen music at the moment. Um, my boss and I am raising the annual plan. Okay. Um, taking a relax at the moment. Um, my boss presenting the PowerPoint. Presenting. Uh, presenting. Mm -hmm. um, my co-worker having an induction of, my, of his work. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, the accounting system having a servicing this day. Okay, it's been servicing these days, it's been servicing. Very good, excellent, good job. Okay, um, if I can hear uh, Silvia Hernandez. No, teacher, porque yo, teacher. Yo las hice en línea, no en párrafo, teacher. Está bien, está bien, Por eso lo quería arreglar. No, tranquila, tranquila, no se preocupe, tranquila. Okay, vaya. I am, I am preparing the defense of the this diesel boy. Me dijo, vea. Cuando es discapacidad. Disabled. Ajá, vale. Of a disabled Go. person. Disabled. Disabled. Por ejemplo, vaya. I am preparing una, una persona que, que tiene así el brazo malo, una persona que tiene el pie malo, la columna mala, anda en silla de ruedas, no, no, no. disabled. Yeah. No se puede defender. Uh -huh. Ajá. I am preparing the, the films of disabled menu as the moment. Ok. Estoy trabajando. Eh, second, I am preparing lo, logistic to a promotional event in the business at the end of the month. Ok. Uh -huh. eh, Three, 
eh, organice, organizando, organice, organizing, organizing, effective communication training in the in the business in the in the business mm -hmm. business yeah. El otro es I am reading a book sobre la ley de violencia de género. Okay, I'm reading a book. Sí. Okay. Ya. Yeah. Very good. Faltaron dos. Sí. 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 No, no estaba tan difícil. Está fácil. Good job. Yeah. Very good. Excelente. Más o menos. Thank you, okay. Silvia. And Paola, Stephanie. Hi, teacher. Hi, Paola. Uh, uh, Administration area is mm -hmm. going to back for the mood. Okay. Is that correct? Okay. Uh, this week and the other week, we are translating. Oh. Translating, yes. Uh -huh. okay. The products for the new offices. So, so you are moving the products. You are moving. Translating, yes. translating is a traduciendo algo. O sea, translating from English to oh. Spanish. Pero moving is moviendo de un lugar a otro. Yeah. Oh, entender. This week and the other week, we are moving the products for the new office. Yes. Uh -huh. uh, we are having interviews this week. Okay. And um, I am working at the auditor auditorium. Auditorium, okay. Uh -huh. Report. Okay. Report. Um, I'm taking a vacation the next week. Oh my goodness, very good. Congratulations on your new vacation. Where are you going? Bahamas? No, no. No. <laughs> no. ¿Dónde va a ir? De, de tanto trabajo, usted merece ir a alguna parte. Puerto Vallarta. Puerto Vallarta, there we go. Roatán. Acapulco. Roatán. Hawaii. <laughs> yes, ajá. A Safari, Guatemala. Um. How do you say Jeffrey? <laughs> oh, I went away already. I went already. I went already. Okay. Okay, entonces los chorros. No, me va a quedar en miedo. <laughs> okay. Teacher, right. huh? teacher, ¿Cómo sería la expresión algún día? <laughs> uh, uh, someday, someday. Someday, yes. Someday, yes. Someday, okay. Yes. Thank you. Algún día, algún día. All right, very good. Thank you. The rest of you, uh, we are going to continue with this on, on Monday because uh, it's already 10 uh, uh, p.m. And um, uh, it's going to stay with us. Uh, let's see. Rafael Do Gerardo, huh? No, he said yesterday. Rebecca Guadalupe Guillón o Roxana. Hi, yes. uh -huh. Ayer me quedé. Ayer, Ayer me quedé. Tenemos, yes. Uh, yes. Y tenemos a Roxana Lisset Vega Campos, no está ni Sofía Portillo. Entonces, si quieres, se puede quedar Stephanie Michelle Oviedo Martínez. Ok. Okay. All right. The rest of you, I see you tomorrow. Um, no, Monday. Monday, tomorrow. No, you won't be there. Okay. I see you tomorrow and uh, have a nice weekend. Teacher. Enjoy your weekend. Yes. Teacher, quería hacer la consulta en cuanto a las tareas. Okay. Verdad que teníamos que realizarlas eh, hasta, hasta qué número, perdón. La 38. 38. Okay. 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 All right. Very good. Okay, teacher. Yeah, thank Thanks. you for reminding me. Thank you. All right.
Bye-bye. See you next week. Uh, have a nice weekend. Enjoy your weekend. Thank you, teacher. Good night, everybody. Good night. Nice weekend. Beach. Go to the mountains. Go and do something exciting. <laughs> See you. Okay, bye-bye. Okay, Michelle. There you are. Teacher. My goodness. Uh, so, so you have COVID, huh? but you don't look yes. like uh, you have COVID uh, uh, 96 or 97? 90, 96 or 97. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And, and I have. How, how did you? Well, what were the system, the symptoms? Uh, that this make you decided to go and take the test. And I have fevers. Okay, fever. Yes, and uh, congestion. Congestion, yes, congestion. congestion. Uh -huh. and, and what about sore throat? Sore throat. Sore throat. Sore throat. Sore throat. Yes, sore yes. throat. Mm -hmm. Yes. Y mucha tos, mucha, mucha tos. Coughing a lot. Yes. What about body ache? Body ache. Ache. Ache is dolor. Dolor de cuerpo. Oh. Body ache. Eh, eh, era mucho. Mm. Much. <laughs> Too much. Eh, Here. Es, uh, in quarantine, I have a. Uh, one week. Tengo una semana de estar en cuarentena. Okay, a week. A week, yes. Oh my goodness. So yes. you, still, you still have uh, seven more days. They yes. give you 13 days, right? Yes, 13 days. And did you have to sign a paper? No, I I send in a, a document uh, uh, donde consta la, la incapacidad. Okay. Uh -huh. No, but uh, a document where it states that you cannot be on the street. If they, uh, if you're cut in the street, you can be penalized. No, no, oh, no, 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 no. I got a document. Uh, I had to sign a document stating that I will not be stepping out of my house. I will be inside my house the 13 days. Uh, mm -hmm. Only recommendation the the take a medicine and and stay home, but no, it's a, a, a obligation. Uh huh. You were not obligated to stay. Yes. In the, oh my goodness. They did not yes. force you, huh? They forced me. They scared me. They say, if we catch you on the street, we're going to take you to jail. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah. No, no. No, it's not. Okay. So uh, tell me, Michelle, how do you feel that the, 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 the classes are helping you? Or are you learning? Or do you need help on specific topic that we have okay. been gone through? Or what is your impression about this class? Okay, the first I saw it's exciting because uh, I learning uh -huh. so much. Okay, a lot. Yes, uh, I need a uh, help in the the numbers los números ordinales. Ordinal numbers, okay. Yes, because twenty uh, second, pero no sé cómo se dicen los demás, como décimo, onceavo. Es, es difícil, aparte, en español me cuesta pronunciar la B y la D en español, entonces oh, okay. en inglés es más difícil. Me, a, a ver, me cuesta decir laptop en español, entonces, ajá. ¿Cómo se dice laptop en español? No, laptop, eh, la, la, como el, el sonido de la P y la D siempre me ha costado, aún en español. Pero lo dice bien, laptop. Pero es con un esfuerzo. ¿Oh, sí? Mm. Yes. Ok. So, uh, so, when you say help, 
The question is help. Yes, help, club, eh, todas las, las palabras que llevan CK, de D, B, eh, son okay. difíciles. So, ¿Cómo las miras? ¿Las miras al revés o, o cómo? Por ejemplo, si yo pongo esa palabra, ¿cómo la ves? ¿La ves bien? No, la leo bien. Help. Pero oh. la pronunciación, como la P, es ah. la que me cuesta. El, como el. Eh, ajá. O oh, name. Eh, también es, es un problema. Name. Yes. Mm. Por, por la articulación. Mm. Esa. Sí. Name. Name. Mm. Okay. So, in the ordinal numbers, uh, what numbers do you know? Eh, a ver, eh, 22 seconds. Okay. 20. 20. 20 seconds. Like this. Okay. Yeah. Is, y digamos como la, el 24, pero en ordinal. ¿Cómo sería? Ok, 24th. 24th. Uh -huh. Ah, ok. Pero casi se pronuncia igual que 4. Eh, sí, ajá. Uh -huh, ¿O hay una diferencia? No. O sea que solo es, es una diferencia en la escritura, pero no en la pronunciación. La pronunciación es igual, 24th. El único diferente es este, 20th. S. 20th. Ok. Y el 30th. Uh -huh. 30th. ¿Y el, ¿Y el 40? Lo mismo. 40th. 40th. Uh -huh. Ok. Yes. Pero de ahí para decir 40, well, 40 u primero sería sí. 40. Se, es regular. Y first. Ahí sí se pone el, el S. 41st. Okay. 42nd. 43rd, 44th. Ok. Sí, eso sería sí. Eh, la secuencia de ellos. Lo uh -huh. único que te digo, tienes que tener cuidado en la 20th, 30th, porque okay. esa es la única diferencia. Ya los demás, ya se escribe el número normal, 20 y first, 20, second, 20, okay. third. Ok. Y también estuve repasando lo que me dijo, lo de G. Eh, que haga la diferencia en eh, la T-H-E para leerlo, da uh -huh. en, en D. Ahora, por ejemplo, podría ser da workplace o da eh, en el diálogo que, que sí. estudiamos, workplace. ¿verdad? Uh -huh. O da course, eh, cuando decía de, de course English. Yes, the course, uh -huh. ajá. Y D es cuando va una vocal, ¿verdad? Sí, por ejemplo, aquí que te puse esta palabra aquí. Eh, diría the apple. Ok. Uh -huh. Ok. Eso, más o menos, eso sería, teacher. Ok, very good. And uh, thank you for being a such a good student. Uh, uh, has tenido un improvement a lot. Lo he visto yo en tus, en tus lecturas. Eh, del principio hasta hoy has, uh, has uh, tenido un buen avance. Y eso es lo bonito que eh, eh, tú mismo te corriges y y haces el esfuerzo, porque eso es lo importante, hacer el esfuerzo. Uh -huh. No que me va a salir bien a la primera, como les dije la otra vez. No, oh, ok, sí. te las corrijo hoy, ya mañana, ya perfecto, todo. No, que fuera así, qué bonito, ¿verdad? Pero sí. no, es una habilidad que tiene que irse ganando poco a poco, poco a poco, poco a poco. Eh, de estar repitiendo, repitiendo. Y, y eso es lo que está pasando ahorita. Todos están en, en un nivel muy, muy bueno. Así es que... Uh, uh, congratulations to all of you and especially to you, okay? Thanks, teacher. All right. Well, it was nice talking to you, Michelle, and thanks uh, for your time. I see you Monday. Have a good yes. evening, okay? Good night, teacher. Okay, good night. Bye. Bye.